So our buddy Larry Chen brought something super rad by today, and uh, this is really my speed. I think Scotto agrees too. Skirt. What up, Larry? What's up? Damn, this thing. The story behind this is I actually got to shoot the reveal at SEMA. And for me, personally, I feel like it was probably the car of the show. While it was cool to shoot the reveal, I really wanted to shoot it actually outside and actually driving. So I got to shoot this during the Prestone drive around the LA Auto Show. It, it, you know what it reminds me of? It has an eject button on the inside. I just want to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> AMC Javelin AMX was, I mean, do you know much about the history of that car? Not as much as you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's an interesting car because like AMC is a brand before the Javelin wasn't cool. All the cars that they were building were like the Rambler and then like the Gremlin and the Pacer. None of it was like a cool car, but right. the Javelin was this car that they was like their want to be a muscle car. And the AMX was like their kind of race version and actually they went on to in Trans Am in this car, but it was one of those things that like, it never, like there's an audience that likes Javelins, but like it's far from being like a, a classic muscle car to a lot of people. This color, this is a BMW color, isn't it? This is what no, you see all those. it's actually there. called Jalop Gold, which I love, because like every jalopy from the 70s was like this color. <laughs> like if your dad had some cr like clapped out Cadillac that like he's still holding on to, it was this color. By I think the way, it's like, but they could have done the it. License plate. But they could have done it really bad and just chosen like a bright yellow, and it wouldn't have fit the car because like bright yellow fits like '69 Camaros. I think that's yeah. like a. Color I mean, so they for it. built that. But this Pantera. Is yeah, and that was bright yellow. But which Pantera's fits. came in bright yellow, yeah. so it was like an expected yeah. color. That fits. Hurt's already here to break the car. Oh no! Oh no! Step well, away well, from the car. I'll let you know that when the car got here, I had to sign a piece of paper that says we wouldn't break anything because the car is worth like well over half a million dollars. So Why proceed. would I break anything? <laughs> Why? I'm so just... proceed with caution because I they said like list things that are valuable and I was like Turk Stallion. So it's just an immediate handover. I just They just leave with the Turk Stallion. Wait, you had to give up collateral? Just, just that? That's on them. That's not valuable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so normally, I just noticed that it was you guys and there is no rich looking person here to go with the car. So what's that mean? Yeah, so normally we have a host here, but today we don't have a host. Well, I, I just... So there's no one in a scumbag but ourselves. Yeah. All right. That's a good... You can't do white seats, man. It's scary. Yeah, that's that's a ballsy maneuver. Where do, Are these out of a, uh, like a new Charger or Challenger? Like these look like the big hefty Dodge, like lazy boy seats. It kind of does look like Dodge, and it would make sense because it does have a all kind of the So where do we want to start? Okay, let's skip the modern wheels part, right? <laughs> let's talk to the biggest thing they did on this car, which is the actual wheelbase has been extended six and a half inches. Right, that, that goes to the whole laser So wait, right? what is this? <laughs> what, what Yo, here is we go, here we go. <laughs> if you can name it, ask I'll give you is. one of these. I just asked you what it is. Just make a guess. <laughs> full, full, full title though, and the year. Oh man. Because I know that you probably heard that the car was coming yeah, here, so you I, might know one word. I don't know what it is. So it's an AMC, which was American Motor Company, Javelin AMX. AMX. So the AMX was like their performance letters. Uh, like, you know, everyone like has those like AMX. SRT or whatever that makes yeah. it like cooler. Yeah, AMX so this is there. from what year? 72. 72. But so the thing is, when that original car, what, why this car looks cool and why I think they did a really good job with this, is that when this car came out, it was kind of like stumpy. Like yeah. it was short compared to like other muscle cars. And all AMCs were smaller, whether Ramblers or whatever, they just had like a smaller look to it. So what these guys did was they actually added six inches. So I mean, it's like there's this much space then added to kind of the front of the car 
to drag the nose out and make it look longer. Because like if you think of like all the muscle cars that have that like presence, they have like a long nose, like a big long hood gives it that tough, feeling. Tough, yeah, tough. that was part of what they did in kind of dragging that all out. And then they had to rebuild all the panel work because one of the things that made the AMC Javelin kind of unique was these like crazy flares. Right. I'll let you talk more on that because that's where. Just just looking at the way these it are all flex. carbon fiber too. Really? Yeah, feel that. Here, oh, listen to it. That's all carbon fiber. Don't not, break it. Don't hear to yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, one of the things for the people that it's so easy to mess up if you're doing like you know the whole over offender nationals thing, or if you just change the body work just from look and feel. I just want to point out there's already a scratch here. We did not do that. So for video record, that scratch is not from us. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Painful. The door closed. It's crazy that they continue the line perfectly. You know, just oh. because it's laser scan and it's computer model to extend, when you look at it from far away, it just has this perfect line reflection. Oh, so, yeah, I mean, because like, if you stretch that, yeah, you just have you're to, gonna to lose. Right, you have to, it has to be proportional. You have to create a whole new proportion yeah. for it. So that's you don't just like add six inches and then like bondo it and put it back together. <laughs> like you have to redraw the whole line. So because everybody wants to add six inches, you can't just add six inches. Dick <laughs> <laughs> jokes. Come on, dick jokes. We're not about. We're not above dick jokes. You know how I know this is a good car? I took the hood pins out and it still doesn't open. <laughs> Oh wait, it's because I was grabbing. I was grabbing it here. Grabbing the <laughs> <laughs> Almost broke it already. Trying to pull the Ram Air out. <laughs> By the way, I love that Larry's over here talking about the flow and the line of the car, and Hertz like, show me the motor. Yeah, that's what I want to see. And damn. I gotta say, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Into yeah. the wrinkled black valve covers, but and also I just want to point out too. Chrysler Firepower valve covers to make it look more like the original kind of Hemi. Mm -hmm. So they actually kind of, I guess they recreated these. And a funny <laughs> little factoid, when AMC went out of business or kind of went out, Chrysler bought them. So it's actually a fitting motor to put in the car yeah. because AMC was eventually bought by Chrysler. Just look at all the fasteners and everything. Yeah, this just and like, really blows my mind. All this and all the CNC. CNC so. yeah. Yeah. The funny thing about this is, you know, on all the cars that I rent, at least the airbox comes out as soon as I pull out of the rental lot. You can't do this on this seat. <laughs> <laughs> to gain the extra three horsepower. They, they actually have to, notched, they yeah. notched the valve cover. They actually notched the valve cover to fit the brakes on them. The brake matches on there. Like, most people would have just like tilted that thing or moved it over or repositioned it lower. Did you guys already talk about just, the ejecto seat opener? Nah. I, I already said, <laughs> the first thing I went, he was talking like it has an ejecto, like it has an eject button. Ejecto Look at this. Seat Cut seat to that clip. Ejecto seat open. Carbon fiber. But I mean, how long do you think it took them to design something like that just for this how car? How much do you think something like that costs? I couldn't even. I wouldn't even be able to they I guess. do like a one-off and like to get all the angles right. Yeah. It's like plus the weight dual position. and everything. This yeah. is a four and a half liter Whipple. Like that's a lot of displacement. You know, Extra makes, displacement. This thing makes a thousand horsepower plus. And apparently, I, I think they said it was like a thousand fifty on the D tune, thirteen on a regular tune. And right now it runs on pump gas, so it's a thousand fifty on pump gas or a thousand sixty on pump gas. Get the machining on that. Yeah. Oh damn. Oh man. You can see this when it was in dealerships, brand new. No. So I don't actually know what's actually. It like doesn't look one off. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just take a gander that this <laughs> like uh, you know double decker just chin splitter wasn't. Yeah. I'll, I'll ask option. Google real quick, but uh, I'm pretty sure that, that is not. Uh, the projector headlamps are definitely stock you, and you seventy. Gotta show, <laughs> you gotta show this detail though. But just the hood what, pin. That's what Ring Brothers does so well. The hood like, pin. They'll put so many hours of work into things like hood pins, where Hurt doesn't even put three seconds of thought into a hood pin. Right. Leave well, he just uses zip tie. Leave me out of it. Ooh. So hey, you guys want to see what the uh, what the stock front looked like? There we go. Yeah, that's not even the same car. <laughs> yeah, that's. But like, realize how much they've added by making it longer and doing all that. And so this is what we started with. I mean, yeah. Not gonna lie, that's kind of hard though. I mean, yeah, it has a good 70s vibe. Yeah. You know, forget over fenders. This is just like built in. Like this bulge it's is so nice. It's me that this is all carbon fiber. It's so cool. This bulge is the coolest part, I think. And it kind of comes down here. I love that. 
Side exhaust, rad. Yeah. Can never go wrong with side exhaust. So this is actually the track exhaust. And then just like my Nova, they have a servo to open it up and then there's a hidden exhaust in there. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at that when he was pulling it off. Yeah. Cause I was like, this thing is way too quiet for a thousand horsepower. So like, look, look at these. Let's just get under here. Oh like shit, this. that's yeah. sweet. And it's all heat wrap? Oh, this thing's nice underneath too. Um, What's the deal with the, uh, there's a four link in the back? Ring Brothers did the rear suspension and Detroit Speed did the uh, did the front suspension setup and basically what they did was they modified uh, kind of a current setup that they had for the extended six inch setup. Look what I found. Oh, is there a book on it? Yep. Wow. Right away. I'll read you a story. Where it all began. It really is a story. Yeah, it's nice guy. Oh wow. This it, 1972 Javelin AMX was bought brand new off the showroom floor on March 3rd, 1972 by Gary Smiley Legal. This purchase was made at Gobin Motors in Madison, Wisconsin. The purchase price of this vehicle was $3,400. The car was in Smiley's possession 43 years later. So I actually read this in a Hot Rod magazine because it's on the cover of Hot Rod right now. These guys, when the project came to them, and Preston was like, hey, we want to build something really cool, something different. They actually already had this car in mind, the Ring Brothers, because there's actually, so Ring Brothers is the company, but it's actually a book brothers named Ring. Um, the neighborhood they grew up in, uh, Smiley owned this car. They used to always see it driving around. So it was a car that like they knew well, like the family had worked on before. And then they ended up going to the first place. Did you hit all the cuts on that one? This dude's doing way cooler stuff. Wow, cool. That's gotta be the quiet style. That's the quiet style. You gotta find the uh, you gotta find the button. This is the start. I figured oh, that much out. Let me see if you your finger. So you turn this knob to the right to start it. We need to do a fact check. Was no, the car no, fast and the no, so. This will eject you. It's enough horsepower to eject you. Whoa! Hurt breaking things already! Don't punch anything, hurt. Don't touch it. Yo, look at the underbody of this thing. Wow. Hurt, don't break it. Oh, it's a key! Oh, <gasps> that's so cool! So it's an ejecto seat button, it's tricks, tricks people. That makes way more sense than it's a key. <laughs> AC works. Heard approved. Yeah, AC works. Look at this. That's really nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bring, bring, us, bring us your cars, bring us your cars so we can dig in them and figure out how to not break them. Not break them, because we don't break cars here. <laughs> no. We appreciate them. We flip it through the book here. The one thing that I saw that just blew my mind. Look at the undercarriage. Even, oh my goodness. It's, look, there's the car, there's the raw carbon. Wow. It only has 253 miles on it since the rebuild. We're about to put some burnout miles on that. Woo! The motor is like a, I think it's a Wagner crate engine. So, are you on the burnout? I mean, sure. <laughs> Scotto gets the play today. Yeah, Scotto gets the drive. <laughs> he always gets to drive the most expensive cars, see? This is an executive uh, burnout. This is an executive. Exactly. Exec yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. By the way, transmission is a bowler transmission. It's a 480 LE. And uh, from what I've read, it'll handle 1,600 horsepower. Oh, what? You broke something, Larry. Hurt, hurt, pre-broke it. And we can at least fix it for them. Look how baller those brakes are. It doesn't matter how much it costs, as long as it looks cool, sounds cool, and does this. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh my goodness. Super smooth. <laughs> like it honestly feels like I've driven a lot of old muscle cars, but it feels like doing a burnout in like a brand new Hellcat. I was like, my Nova's like, oh, oh, oh. This was just like, I had more than enough horsepower to spin these massive tires. Yeah, it was just kind of like said. super mellow yeah. and like, hold on, peasant. Yeah, yeah. like whatever you want. <laughs> so can I keep this? <laughs> this thing is rad. Feel it from the inside. Do one more. Feel it from the inside. Feel the tire vibration. Check. Do a tire check. Huh? Do a tire check. Tire check. Looks good. <laughs> I really can't believe these people are letting us do this. Dude, look how low the temp is just doing burnouts here. Oh. Uh, well, it was like it hit mid and it just dropped super nice. Shout out to Preston. <laughs> like, wouldn't it be funny if it came here and it, and it actually overheated? Yeah, but that would be. It came here and it did its job, so yeah. good, good on you, Preston. How about that? <laughs> Those are good. Yeah. No, you're talking about those are heat cycles. Somebody left him all over here. <laughs> <laughs>